Pow, and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at It's Dan Who. Now today is the first unboxing video of 2019, and I myself didn't know what it was gonna be. I've got both the Kingpin uh, Builder Figure Wave on pre-order and the Captain Marvel Wave on pre-order. And in the UK, it's a little bit sporadic. Sometimes we get things earlier than the US, sometimes we have to wait ages. So I know in the US, both Captain Marvel and Kingpin are hitting the shelves right now, so I'm just sitting here twiddling my thumbs. But finally, something has arrived. I did get a box, and it is the Captain Marvel wave. Now, this is the Cree Sentry Builder Figure wave. Not massively excited about the Builder Figure, I'm not going to lie, but you know me, I love the MCU figures, so I'm very curious about these, even though we are yet to see the film. So, if you don't know the format, what I do is take boxes out of another box until I do full reviews on the channel. So, this is just my first impressions of the figures before I sit down and do reviews. So, let's get into it. The first figure out of the box is Captain Marvel herself. She doesn't come with a Cree Sentry Builder Figure piece but she does come with an unmasked head which I always appreciate and some interchangeable hands. Now I really like the look of this figure, like a metallic sort of shine to it. The unmasked Brie Larson head has a little bit of Brie Larson in it I guess um, but I haven't seen the film so I've got nothing to compare it to apart from the trailer. So, um, But it looks nice, look forward to opening this up. I'm sure if we all love the film then that figure is going to be very sought after. Moving on we've got a young Nick Fury with a little goose the cat in his shackles. Now spoiler alert, in the comics the cat is called Chewy, and he is an alien. So um, I'm curious to see what the film do in relation to that. He's in shackles, so something's going on. Um, the young Nick Fury head looks good, let's be honest. It looks like Nick Fury um, from the 90s. It's pretty good. And yeah, it's on a different suit of body to what we usually see. Apparently this one's got holsters on underneath the jacket, so I quite like it. But yeah, can't go wrong with another Samuel Jackson figure. Moving on, we've got Talos. Now this could be an army builder of the wave as he is a scroll and in the trailer we've already seen a couple of these walk on shore and they're all wearing the same outfit so you could army build these but again until we've seen the film we don't really know how it works. It says on the box it's Talos which I'm assuming is one of the main bad guys but again I haven't seen the film I wouldn't know uh, but this looks really nice I'm not going to lie in person this looks really good I think the MCU always do, to, do a really good job of turning these character uh, comic book designs into real life sort of figures and whatnot and uh, yeah this guy looks good Talos is a scroll who knows who he could be in the film. I'm assuming it's that uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. boss, so that's uh, Nick Fury's boss. Moving on, we've got another a potential army builder, and it is the Star Force Commander, but it doesn't actually say Star Force Commander on the box. It says Yon Rog, which sounds like a name you'd hear from Lord of the Rings or something. I'm assuming it's Jude Law's character. Now, this figure was a little bit disappointing because everyone was holding out hope that he would have interchangeable heads so you could army build him and it's, uh, have these guys with different heads on, but nope, we just get a big empty space and a gun which is a little bit disappointing. I would have liked to see an unmasked Jude Law head if, that was the, if he is that character or a couple of different facial expressions like we have with some of our other army builders. So it's a shame because I'm assuming we're going to see a few of these outfits in the film, uh, but we've only got one head. So maybe we'll see more in the future, but for now we've got Yon Rog, aka the Star Force Commander, and until we've seen the film, we don't really know. But he looks good, like metallic -y sort of purple, uh, black and... What does it say purple for? Got greenish aqua colour. Moving on, we have the other Captain Marvel, and she is cradling the cat goose in her arms. I always, I always appreciate when Hasbro try and be a little bit gimmicky with their boxes, which they have in, in the past with their Deadpool figures. So again, it's, it's nice to see, but I would have rather a different figure than another Captain Marvel just with a bomber jacket on. Maybe this is a super important outfit. I just don't know. Haven't seen the film, but it looks good. Not a massive fan of that head, uh, but obviously we've got another figure that we can mix and match and change and you know I like displaying options so uh, yeah Goose the Cat's quite funny and uh, Captain Marvel is wearing a bomber jacket so again I'm gonna like it I'm sure I am 
Moving on, we got a comic book figure in the wave, and this is Genus Val. And in the comics, he goes by loads of different names, Phantom and even Captain Marvel himself. So I need to do a deep dive before I do a Who Is He segment on Genus Val. But uh, yeah, quite a powerful character in the comics. And I think we've had a Marvel select of this guy before, seeing Tucker Art talking about it. But uh, I'm yet to have a figure of this guy. So I will add him to my comic shelf. And last, but by no means least, we have the French chemist, which is the Grey Gargoyle. So of course I will do a full Who Is He segment on Grey Gargoyle to explain to you who this guy is, but he, he is an old school comic villain. Uh, I think he first fought Thor and he's, he's fought Captain America and Iron Man and Spider-Man and all of them. But uh, for some reason he's in the Captain Marvel wave, even though I think he did go to space at one point in the comics, to be fair. I think he did get shot off on a rocket. Um, but yeah, he looks good, very accurate to his comic design. He's even got his little moustache and he's even got the hoops on his um, cape that are actually in the comics as well. Uh, looks good, looks good, not gonna lie, a solid comic book character, even if it is an obscure character that everyone may not know, but he is. Is old school from the 60s. So um, yeah, overall interesting wave. Again, it's hard to say when you haven't seen the source material. All we've seen is the trailer, but I really, really hope Captain Marvel is a hit. I really hope it's good because apparently she's gonna be carrying in the Avengers into phase four. So I'm sure if I love Captain Marvel the film, I'm gonna love these figures even more than I'm probably gonna. And I like the comic book characters as well because they're new characters that I haven't got and I always like adding new characters to my collection. So you let me know in the comments below who should I review first? I'm going to do separate videos from all just because that's how I do things on the channel. I'll do who is these segments for the characters uh, from the comics and I'll try and explain as best as I can what we know about the MCU so far. But it shall be interesting. Let me know in the comments below who do you like? Who are you getting? Who should I review first? So as always people check out the videos tab for tons of end of year top 10 lists that I did for 2018. I've even got uh, a list of what's to come in 2019 up on the channel right now so yeah go and check out the videos tab and as always please 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 hit that subscribe button much appreciated and as always my name is dan w and i shall see you on the next one